amazing people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing guys hope you're doing great hope you're generally fine hope you're cool guys okay so here is me with this beautiful and very stylish flesh shirt and a crop top now i love this one like seriously i really love the outcome of this outfit very very stylish and yet simple to make yes guys simple to make you want to see how i did this right then all you need to do is to stick around with me to the end let's just go ahead and you know break this down to the easiest easiest so i'm going to show you how to achieve that okay let's get to it guys so here is my print of course and of course my working to before i go ahead let me say a very big thank you to all my subscribers thank you guys so much for always stopping by thank you guys appreciate you guys a lot you guys are amazing and if you're new here i want to say thank you thank you so much for coming here too and please if you've not subscribed please go ahead and smash that subscribe button okay remember to all your notification bell so you always get notified every single time i upload my weekly videos on this channel okay yes guys so this is my print guys and i'm going ahead to lay it on my table right now so what i have here now is exactly two years two years of this african print and i'm going to use this one to cut for the flare shots pants yeah that's what i'm going to do and um this is actually 52 um 45 this comes by the length of 45 right then 35 makes it two yards so i'm just folding it into two now then i'm making a triangular fold you can see what i'm doing after folding it into two then i made a triangular fold so i'm placing it so that the unfold part is going to be facing me as you can see yeah so that i have it now so i'll go ahead now and um you know make my draft but the first thing i want to do now is to indicate um three inches line you can see where i'm starting from now to mark that three inches line from the tip of that triangle where it can actually accommodate three inches all the way to the very end so you can do four you can do three but i'm doing three inches so this three inches is going to serve as what my crotch is going to help me create my crotch as we go along you understand better okay so you can see what i'm doing now so right now i'm just trying to connect all those points now so right now you can see that um the tip of my triangle now the initial one is different so i've created another tip of the triangle so that is where i'll actually start my drafting from okay just take note of that okay so that side now um, we're going to be discarding it at the moment. Just know that every measurement is coming through after that lines. All right. All right. So you can see, of course, it's folded into four. So I'm going to uh, divide my waist circumference by four. And the waist circumference I'm working with is 36 divided by four. That is nine. Then I'm adding three inches. Yes, three inches in my allowance, which makes it 12. So you can see how I'm moving my tape along that triangle so that I can get that 12. So once I've gotten it now, I'll mark that point down. This is the very easy way to get that. So because I've indicated where that 12 inches is, then I'll take my tape back to the tip. You can see now this is the tip of my triangle we're working with, not the initial one because of the lines we drew. So I'm placing my tape there now. And when I place it at that, uh, where we mark that waist circumference, I'm now having about 15.5. Um, so I'm going ahead now to move my tape just to get a perfect curve there. You can see how I'm moving my tape all the way to the other end. So this is the best way to get your perfect curve. You can see this. So once I've done that, I'll go ahead and connect all my points together. Okay. Don't forget it was the waist circumference divided by four plus three inches seam allowance. That's much. Yes. So you can see that's my waistline. So the next point we're indicating now is going to be the crotch depth. So for my crotch depth, how do I get that? I'll divide my hip circumference, which is 44. If I divide it by 4, 11, then I'll add 2 inches to it, making it 13. Yes, 13. So that 13 is going to stand for what? My crotch depth. So you can see from my waistline now, I'm indicating what? that 13 inches. Like I said, there's no need for what? The hip circumference. You don't need to put the hip depth here because this is a flare shot. So then, now, now this is we're going to make use of that three inches line we drew now so that is what is going to help me create what my crotch okay so you can see me running my line to that end i'll go ahead and create my angle now and we've just created what our crotch there so from there i take it straight down so you can see that now 
all right so that's just it now so the next thing i want to do now is to get the actual length of my flare shot so i want it to be um 20 inches so you can see from my waistline i'm also indicating what's that 20 inches again so i just added extra one inch you see my allowance because we're going to be hemming it so that made it 21 so from the waistline you can see me marking my 21 there so for me to get my perfect curve again, I'll take my tape back to the tip of that triangle, just like we did when we're marking for the waist, back to the tip of that triangle. You can see what I now have there now will be 36.5. So I'll place my tape still on that um, tip of triangle and keep moving it in a curve form so I can get what my perfect curve, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. You can see me still um, putting my hand in place on that type of triangle i'll just keep moving my tape like so and keep marking out the points till i get to the other end okay so that way i'm able to get what my perfect curve okay for my for the length of the span so you can see this so once i was done i'll go ahead and connect all the points together as you can see now all right so guys that's just it we've just created them um the pants there you can see this now so just go ahead and cut skin follow the shape the way i'm um, demonstrating right now just cut through and that's it yeah so um once you are doing this now you can see that that unfold part i'm going to be slitting it open the reason why i have to do this is because i'll be fixing a zipper at the back and i'm also going to be you know fixing a pocket as well okay yeah so that's the reason why i'll have to slit that if not if i was just an elastic there wouldn't have been need to slit that on foot part okay so cutting through um that's um the lowest part you can see i have um some shortages there so i have to replace it back right yeah sometimes this happened because of the the length of the flesh so i have to replace it so i just want to replace that um shortage there before i continue my cutting so i'm just using a piece of fabric and i'm also pinning it down so later on i'm going to be sewing that part there so you can see i've done that so covering it up now you can see i have it in place so i'll go ahead now and um, continue my cutting so i'll just cut off those excesses right there so you can see this now so that's just it so you can do this um you know it may be when you're done cutting or you can also do this before cutting whichever one works for you so i'm going ahead to cut through the crush there and of course the waist there so you can see this now we're done with that so like i said i'm going to be slitting um that um, center part open so i'm going ahead to slit it open and mind you, you can see that these two pieces they're actually equal right yeah so i have four pieces here two piece each two piece one for the front and one for the back so the part where i have that um joining i'll just make that part to be for the back side there yeah so i'll just make that part back so i'll go ahead and sew that um shortage length there i'll go ahead and sew it later on then for this front piece i'll go ahead and also sew um the crotch line there just placing it over right side facing each other of course go ahead and sew that so i'll go finish that up right now we'll come back to cut the pockets and here guys you can see i've gone ahead to close up the that um, length we've we'll cleaned that up and um, of course give it a good press you can barely even notice it there then of course this is the front piece you can see i've also sewn the the crush line there you can see how it looks okay so it's time to create the pockets now so i'm just making my fold into two right and um, by the side there, I'm going to now um, cut open the pocket width and length. So I'm making use of 2.5. That's what I'm marking out from the edge of that um, of the uh, the waistline. They're marking 2.5 inwards. Then by length, I'm going down by seven inches, 2.5 and seven inches. So I'll go ahead and connect them to a slant line. You can see this. So I'll cut this through out. So this is going to represent what my my pockets i'm just trying to create my pockets so you can see how this looks now okay so setting this aside now i'm going to you know cut out another piece a tiny piece which i will now use um for the you know to create the main pockets itself so you can see so this is just a little piece uh, of fabric i have left over this is about um, 10 by 8 inches there i'm just trying to manage this because this is just a, uh, the piece of fabric that I have left. So make sure you place it on the opposite direction. That's right side facing each other, as you can see. 
Now, what I'm going to do now is at one end of this piece, I'm going to repeat the same process I did the 2.5 by 7. Yeah, I'm going to repeat the same thing. I can see me demonstrating right now, marking out my 2.5 inches and the 7 inches in length. You can see going ahead to create that slant line as well. And of course, I also go ahead and cut it out. So what I did for that main um, the pants there is what I'm doing for the main pocket piece itself. So you can see this now. So because it's placed on opposite direction, individual piece is going to match with the other. So the one that matches with the other, as you can see, just go ahead and pin it down like you see me doing. So after that, I'll also go ahead and sew. Okay. So the one I'm pinning it down now, this is how, this is just how I'm going to, so just 0 0.5 inches, so there, you can see. So before um, you take it in, you also mark that same 2.5 inches by 7. You can see what I'm doing again. So this is the third time we're marking this now. But this one, we're not going to cut it out. We're just having that line there to stand as a, you know, um, a guide, okay? So that when we're folding it in to create the main pocket, it's going to what, align on that particular line. So you can see what I'm demonstrating now. So once you have it aligned there, just go ahead and pin it at the edge. Yeah? Just pin it at the edge. You're going to actually sew that point. And also, if you turn it um, inwards, you also cover up that open up space you have there. And guys, as easy as that. Like I've made um, um, several videos on this. I have something like they linked up already in the description box on how to make a pocket for a pan trouser. In case you're not familiar, it's well detailed and short video. You can also go ahead and watch it as well. So you can see the same thing I'm repeating for the other side. After joining it, create that same 2.5 inches by 7 inches mark here. Go ahead what, and create the slant line. Like I said, you're not cutting this one. You just have that line there. Then push your pockets in and make it the, um, align on that particular line. So you can see this and go ahead and pin it down. So where I'm pinning down is where I'll actually make it so. So after that, you cover up um, the underneath there. And that's it, guys. Our pocket is ready. It's as easy as that. So once this is done, the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and sew. So you can see I've done that. You can see how this looks. This is looking so good already. You can see this now. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to what, attach a band to it, okay? Yeah, so I have this piece of fabric. I've already gone ahead to iron my interfacing. You can see, and this is um, about 5 inches in width. All right, I ironed it down and I folded it into two. So it's just a piece of fabric. I had to join it into two, which means that because I've joined it, that point where I join must match up with the center point of my pan trouser. So that's how I'm going to sew. So you know it was five. So making it um, into two, folded into two, makes it what 2.5. So by the time I sew, at the end of the day, my band is going to be what a two inches band there. Okay, so you can see me going ahead to sew from that center point to one end and also to the other end. So once you're done sewing, this is what it looks like, right? Yeah, so this is what it looks like. So this for the front piece. Then for the back, I'm also going to um, repeat the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to be attaching a zipper, but before that, I have to fix my band as well, right? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and also do that. You can see the same thing, applied my interfacing, just going ahead to to sew it all at the end of the day i'll have it um, in place so do the same thing for the two back piece okay yeah so this is it guys we're gonna head to stitch it down you can see how this is looking already and you can also see um for my um back pants there you can see i've also gone ahead to sew it so now that i've done that i can now attach my zipper all right yeah so for my zipper now i'm just going to place it and one side, just remember, this is the, the tip where you have that silver edge there. Yeah, I'm just that's where I'm going to start from. So I'm just trying to pin it down. So I'm pinning it down. I'll go ahead and sew it after we're just placing my zipper to make sure that it faces the fabric. You can see how I'm doing this just to the point where you want it to stop. So I'm just working with about 10 inches. 10 inches is okay. You can make it 11 as well if you want. Yeah. So um, once I'm done with one side, Side, I'll just flip it through like so and um, make it face the other side as well so you can see what I'm doing now 
Yeah, so the same thing now, I'll go ahead and sew. So from that point where I want my zipper to stop, I'm just going ahead to pin it down as well upward. So I'll just repeat the same process. So once I'm done I'm doing this now, it's, it makes it easier. They can just go ahead and sew, okay? Yeah, go ahead and sew like so. Then once I'm done sewing, you can see how it looks on the outside. Then that tip, that tip you have dangling there, you can go ahead and fold it in and make it just run a tiny top stitch at the edge there to have it in place. So after that now, then you go ahead and sew the remaining part, okay? The remaining part all the way to the crotch there, all the way from that point where your zipper stop. So I'm just pinning it down as well. So that's how I'm going to sew it all the way to the end of what my crotch there. You can see what I'm demonstrating now. So that's just it's as easy as that. So once you do that, you have it in place. I mean, you can see we have it in one piece right now. Yeah, so that's just it, guys. So any excess of the zipper, you can go ahead and trim it once you're done. So once this is done now, the next thing, of course, to do just to go ahead and join the sides. Just bring um, the front piece and place it over right side facing each other, of course. Then go ahead and sew the sides. So after sewing the sides now, then you match up the crotch just match up the crotch there and uh, make sure that the the center point they are matching up properly then you sew from one center point there to the end and from there also to the other end once that is done the final thing to do now will be to hem the lowest part just go ahead and hem it all the way around and to the other side as well and guys these pants will be ready so i'll go finish all this up you see the final look of this pant and here guys can see i've gone ahead to do all the stitches you can see you can see my um the zipper there everything is in place this is looking so beautiful already you can see our flesh shot at this point is ready everything is in place guys so that's just it guys for this one yeah so this is so beautiful so we'll go ahead now and cut for um the crop top so this is my leftover piece i have here so i'm just going to make my fold you can see i have this place in such a way that i'm cutting out for both front and back and i just have 1.5 inches for um the zipper space there so going forward now to mark my tree by eight inches mark so we can get our slope this is quite um familiar right so that's three by eight inches then i'm coming down one inches for the slope i'm going ahead to connect it together so you can see i have my slope right there now from that beginning point i'm going to indicate the chest line i usually use nine inches but because this is a sleeveless i'm just going up a bit 8.5 so that you don't have the armhole you know much revealing so going up by 8.5 instead of my regular nine inches there then from that point i'll just indicate the waistline so the the length of the crop top 17 is ideal for the crop top okay something is actually ideal but i want mine to be a little bit lower so at some 20 inches so this includes of my both my hemming allowance right yeah so i'm not adding extra um seam allowance there so that's it there so i'm just going ahead to indicate my shoulder width of um, 16 divided by 2 8 and so you can see me extending it all the way to the chest line there then from that point now I'm going to get the midpoint, the midpoint from that slope. So what I have is about 7.5. So the midpoint there is about 3.25. So I'll go ahead to indicate the midpoint. Go inwards by 0 0.5 inches like we usually do if we want to get our front armhole. That's what I'm doing right now. So after that, then I'll also what take note of what um for the back armhole as well. So this is just uh, the regular process we do when we're cutting out for our um bodies our regular bodies yeah so next thing now is to indicate um the body circumference for for the bust there is 38 divided by 4 9.5 i'm just adding only two inches for the seam allowance then the waistline there is 36 divided by 4 what i have is 9 9 there i'm marking that down and also uh, with the two inches seam allowance and that's just it there then go ahead and connect the point there so the extra um uh, excesses i have on the lowest part i'm going to be trimming that um out much later okay yes so that's just it you can see um how this goes then for the neck i'm using a neck width of four then a neck depth of three inches yes neck depth of three inches for the back 
that's what i'm using then of course for the front i'm going to use a neck depth of five inches so this totally depends on what you want okay yeah so neck depth of three for the back neck depth of five for the front and of course a neck width of four so you can see me creating my curve there so that shows it guy you can see it's as easy as that so the next thing i want to take note of now is my shoulder width remember this is a sleeveless and what i have here is 3.5 so by the time i sew on both ends i'll come back to 2.5 but i want my shoulder width at the end of the day to be two inches okay 1.5 for two inches so i'm going inwards again by 0 0.5 inches. you can see what i'm doing so because i'm going inwards that means i have to readjust my armhole so you can see me recreating my armhole again Again, okay so not the initial one that we had drafted out so at this point i have to discard that initial armhole okay yeah so that's it because this is a sleeveless right yeah so guys we're done here what is left now is just to go ahead what and cut this out guys if you've not um subscribed to my channel please smash that subscribe button i appreciate that a lot okay and don't forget to on your notification bell so you get notified every time i upload my weekly videos on these channels i really appreciate this a lot thank you so much guys and so i just marked um uh, a point for my dart there just use my boss pan 8 divided by 2 4 i just indicated that point and notched it that's why we're going to be fixing our dart i'm going ahead to slit the back piece open and also cutting out the neckline so the neckline for the back first yes i'll take that off then i'll go ahead and cut for the front neckline like you see me doing right now and guys we're done here it's as easy as that like this is probably one of the simplest um, tops you can do so because i recreated that arm we can see me readjusting the armhole for my back piece just cutting out a little bit out there okay yeah and so we're done here this is it guys now the next thing i'm going to do now is to start fixing my dart i just have to draw my dart point this will make everything easy so i'll go ahead now and indicate from my shoulder point i'm just indicating the boss point for me is 11.5 so you use your own boss point 11.5 you can see me indicating that line so i'm going to go um, one inches below this line i've already marked one inch below my boss points line i will indicate that point as well so that one inches i'm marking now that's where i'm going to what start what drafting my dart line all the way to the end of the top you can see me now marking a straight line on to that line that's where we're notched already for the darts is visible the once you notch it, it makes it easy so just go ahead and mark 0 0.5 inches on both ends, just like you see me doing right now okay and of course connect everything to, or to that one inches what that is below the boss point so you can see guys we're just creating our darts here so this makes everything easy so once you're sewing it's just straightforward so you want to sew just make your fold like so and sew on that line already and of course do the same thing on the other side and we have our dart in place okay yeah so for the back is also the same process but the only thing is that the darts for the back is going to go higher so you can see we're still indicating that boss point but this time around i'm going up one inches above that boss point line you can see it for the front we did one inches below for the back i'm doing one inches above that's where i'm going to start sewing my dart all the way to the end of the top so just repeating the same process taking 0 0.5 inches on both sides on that waistline and connecting it all to that point and we can have our dart point there so go ahead and sew makes everything easier so if you're using a lining still the same thing just make sure that once you're done turning all with your lining then you can draft your dart line okay now so once you're done i'll go ahead and use my bias to finish up the neckline and the armhole but for the front i'll use a little facing just for the front neckline but for every other one i'll use my bias tape so i'll go finish all this up now and here guys i'm done with that you can see finished up the neckline and the armhole there and you can see the dart point this is for the back and for the front you can also see did my facing there at the front neckline and also on the armhole the bias you can see the dart there and that's it guys also giving this a very good press so we're almost done here yeah so the next thing now is to attach my zipper for the back so once i'm done attaching my zipper have it in one piece then i'll go ahead and place it right side facing each other join it at the shoulder join it at the side and go ahead and hem the lowest point and guys 
this crop top is ready. Believe it or not, we are done here, guys. As easy as that. So that is it, guys, on how to make this very beautiful piece, this crop top, and of course, the flare shirt pant. Mm, very, very lovely outfit. I love this one so much, and I'm sure you like it. So if you just want to try this for yourself. Thank you, guys, for joining me today. I appreciate this a lot. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and also like, share with friends. I appreciate this. See you on the next one. Bye.